Hello, hello, and welcome to the November 2013 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, brought to you by Noob Computer Build. My name is Corey. Uh, here we have a, a pretty exciting month. I know it's almost halfway through the month, but I thought, hey, got to get the video out. I wrote the article yesterday, so if you want to come check it out at noobcomputerbuild.com, come do so. And as a caveat before I start, I also post all of the links for the hardware for all three of the $600 build, $1,000 build, and $1,500 build in the description as well. As well, there's, there are links uh, directly to the article, as you can see here on the website. So let's get started. November is usually a pretty exciting month for um, purchasing hardware online or in general, uh, because there's uh, Black Friday, uh, where everything goes on sale and all, all the greedy consumers go out and purchase uh, items for sale all over the place. Uh, as well, there's Cyber Monday, where uh, things... Uh, uh, stuff for sale online goes or sales online uh, go all over the place uh, where they try to get you to purchase more online so uh, it's, it's it'll be a good month if you're trying to build a PC so take all these builds into consideration as well as shop around for some hardware that may be on sale uh, so let's get started I'm gonna get started with the $600 build of the month here uh, it bit prices out to again it's uh, same well right on six, the $600 market $601 currently as of yesterday if you're watching this um today <laughs> um yeah so let's get started uh it was a good month this month since amd came out with with its new graphics cards which did affect every single one of these builds in one way or another so i'll explain further as i go on the processor for the 600 hundred dollar build is the amd fx 6300 as per last month uh, it's a six core processor for 119 dollars 99 cents and it's uh easily overclockable so it makes it uh for a good processor for a budget build at 600 uh 600 uh we're using uh, a very basic msi uh am3 plus socketed um 970a g43 motherboard at 66 dollars 99 cents and the graphics card this month uh part of amd's new graphics card line uh the r9270x uh, graphics card, uh, which is a bump up from last month's card as well, uh, for the same price. So last month we bumped up the card pretty significantly. However, this month we were able to do it again with a new line of cards. And last month we were able to bump it up since uh, the imminent price decreases, or the prices uh, decrease with the imminent release of uh, AMD's new cards, which was uh, pretty good. Uh, moving on, we have 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, RAM prices have finally subsided. Uh, a little bit since they were a little pricey there for a few months but uh, you can get this crucial ballistics sport 8 gigabyte kit for $59.99 uh, for the hard drive we have the usual 500 gigabyte western digital blue uh, for $51.99 $51 uh, we have a 450 watt Antec power supply uh, for $37.98 um and for the case we have the same case as last month the nzxt technology source 210 for 34 dollars and 72 cents and the optical drive we have is this samsung optical drive for 19 dollars 49 cents nothing special but just purchase the cheapest optical drive you can find or save the 20 dollars if you don't need it um and moving on oh i wasn't in the actual article here so let's just bump into the article real quickly um yeah, we have the alternatives for the build as a caveat here i just want to add that if you are going to upgrade say the processor or the graphics card uh, i do recommend that you bump up the power supply as well i don't include any recommendations in here but you can look at the one thousand dollar build or even the fifteen hundred dollar build if you so wanted to for recommendations uh for higher wattage power supply since we are kind of on the baseline here here in terms of 450 watts with this antec uh, it will work uh, with, uh, say, this graphics card or this processor. However, it's uh, kind of borderline. Um, and so if you are considering an upgrade, you can try it out by all means, but uh, do try and get a higher wattage power supply. Uh, here for some recommendations, we have the AMD FX 8328 core processor for $159.99. This Corsair Carbide Series 200R compact PC case for $49.99. And as well, we have another new graphics card here in the AMD line, uh, $308 for this uh, R9280X, which is an amazing graphics card. Uh, if you do get this, though, do upgrade the Antec. And 
here we have, or you can upgrade uh, your hard drive space. $62 for a Western Digital one terabyte, which isn't too much more than the, the included $500 one that I do include for $52 about. All right, so here we go with the $1,000 build. The build this month comes out to $987 this month. Gives you a little room for taxes or shipping or whatnot, so it's a good buffer. Um, here we go. Uh, we do have the Haswell Intel i5 uh, 4670k processor again uh, comes out for to about $228 currently uh, really good processor very overclockable but however I do not include a cooler in the $1,000 build although we do have a little room but if you do want to overclock right away I do recommend getting the hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler which is uh, approximately 33 34 dollars I believe right now so if you want to overclock you can get it later or you can include it in your build and just tack on $34 uh, we get the MSI Gaming Series G45 uh, motherboard this month again. Not again, since last month I used an Asus. However, the Asus board went up. Uh, but in the same kind of line of pro uh, motherboards, um, I have used the Gaming Series, which I'm uh, really fond of. However, it was too expensive last month for me to recommend it, so I kind of ditched that. But it is back down to $139.99. Now for the graphics card, I do include, as you've seen above, uh, one of the new AMD line of R7, R9, gra well this is the R9 graphics card. Uh, this is the 280X gaming uh, graphics card by MSI. Uh, so it does kind of go with your motherboard, it matches uh, if you're concerned about that. But this is $308.63. This card has uh, proven to be really good so far. It's been uh, getting pretty good, uh, really good uh, benchmarks and reviews. So. If you want to read more about that, Google that if you like. Um, we have 8 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistics uh, RAM, DDR3 RAM for $59.99. And we have the one terabyte blue uh, hard drive for $62. Uh, and for the power supply, we have the 650 watt XFX uh, for $90. It was a little less last month, but, but not by too much. Uh, I, as you can see here, I do not include a solid state drive in the $1,000 build as in the way I kind of organize it, it does not, uh, it can't fit it in, but I do have one in the alternatives or recommendations if you have a little more to spend, if you like. And for the computer case, I, I do like to include kind of newer cases in my builds if I can. And this month, Corsair came out with uh, this 230T uh, line of cases. It's a mid tower case and it's very affordable, especially for a new case. Uh, and it's it's pretty good. It, it comes out to $78.99, so it is you know pretty pretty well priced and it does come in a few different uh colors here i kind of have pictured the the orange one and it comes with the orange fans and leds or leds in in the or lights sorry color inside the case uh but it also comes in i believe let's just i have the corsair so here you can see the black version uh i do have the orange one and i think the other two colors are gray and i think there's a black matte uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's the different colors. So you do have some choice there if you want to get a brand new case and, and go with this Corsair one. Um, and if you like, you can go to the Corsair website here, which I do have linked in my article if you want to read more on the case. And finally, we have uh, this Samsung opt optical drive, which is optional. You can save $20, don't need it. Uh, you can install your OS however you like, but... This is uh, just get a cheap optical drive, and here uh, it's a relatively cheap one, $19 and Samsung. And the total comes out to $987. Moving on to the alternatives or uh, um, options that you can do if you have a little more to spend. Like I said, you can add uh, this Hyper 212 CPU cooler, Evo CPU cooler, $33. If you want to overclock right away, I do recommend that. Uh, you can upgrade the graphics card. Uh, I do have, do have this MSI uh, GTX 770 in here. I could have included, say, the new Radeon 290 uh, graphics card, but I'll get to that in a sec why I didn't in the $1,500 build. If you want a solid state drive, there's a 128 gigabyte Crucial M4 for $105 here. Or you can, um, if you do want to significantly increase your graphics uh, capability, you can crossfire with another. Uh, um, sorry, I include the, the Radeon. 7970 here, but what I, what you do if you want to crossfire is uh, the MSI 280X. So you purchase two of these so that you can crossfire. 
I need to fix, pardon me, but I need to fix this in my article since I obviously linked to the one from last month. Moving on to the $1,500 bill. Comes out to $1,509, so $9, $9 over budget, but not by too much. And considering uh, we have some deal hardware deals coming up, you might be able to save even more on that, but we're pretty much on par with our budget here. We include the same processor, the i5-4670K Haswell uh, processor. Um, I did spice up things a little bit this month by uh, going with a liquid CPU cooler since there was tons of room for it this month. Uh, the $1,500 build from last month to this month, if you went with the same one as last month, did drop in price uh, as uh, the graphics cards, which was a significant price point, uh, dropped last month with the card that I included. So I did go with this uh, Corsair Hydro Series H110 liquid CPU cooler, which is $117. You can, though, if you like, save on that and go with the, that Corsair or sorry, Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler, which is $33 if you want to save on that, if this isn't uh, too high of a concern for you. Uh, the motherboard, same as last month, uh, the Asus Maximus, uh, for $197. It did drop. It was about, at about 215 220 I believe, last month. So you are saving on the motherboard as well this month, so I did include it again. Um, here's where I didn't upgrade the graphics card to the new line of AMD ones since the two I was reading uh, reviews on the 290 and 290X uh, new line of graphics cards and they do perform pretty well however I they I was hesitant to include them since they do have a high uh, acoustic profile so they're really loud uh, and like really extremely loud uh, to some people it seems and as well they get really really hot um, so I don't want to recommend that card yet. Uh, maybe when some some of the others are being released, uh, we'll see uh, that you know get get a little better. But I included the MSI uh, GTX 770 here, uh, same as last month. Dropped in price by a lot though. It's currently priced at three hundred thirty nine dollars ninety nine cents. This is the card that I included included last month, and it was around four hundred dollars. So you save about seventy dollars this month on this card. So which is really good if you want if you were debating going with the $1,500 build. Uh, we have 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, this month I went with Kingston HyperX Blue, $129.99. We have the one terabyte Western Digital Blue for $62. Uh, the solid state drive in the $1,500 build is the 840 Samsung Pro uh, solid state drive. This is a 120 gig version. You can get a higher version if you have a little more to spend, but this comes out to $131.49. And last month, or just the month before, the end of the month before that, Corsair came out with the new RM series power supplies. This is the 750 watt version, fully modular, has a uh, fan controller settings and, and stuff like that, but and it's relatively quiet, really quiet. Uh, and this uh, power supply comes out to $129.99. The computer case I went with the $1,500 build, went with for the $1,500 build this month is this NZXT Switch 810 black. Uh, it comes in a few other colors, so there's white, and uh, I forget what the maybe a gray, but you get choice. But this is not a new case, but it is it is a really good case. It's about a year old. Um, it comes out. It's a full tower, and comes out to be hundred forty nine dollars ninety nine cents. So it is cheaper than what it used to be at. A, I think it was one hundred sixty nine dollars. And to top it all off, we have the Samsung optical drive here for nineteen dollars forty nine cents, with a total of one thousand five hundred nine dollars. Moving on to the build alternatives or additions. Um, if you want to go with an i7 processor, by all means, you can go with this one for $338.98 Intel Core i7-4770K, so it is an un unlocked uh, multiplier uh, processor as well. You can S uh, do SLI with another GTX 770. Get a larger SSD, $439, and you go all out, and you can get a 512GB uh, solid-state drive, or, you know, you can bump up the graphics card to a GTX 780. Um, the card did drop quite a bit, so it's uh, along with the other older cards to $509.99. So if you you can either SLI and get another uh, GTX 770, or if you're a fan of just single cards, easy peasy, you can go with the GTX 780. That does it for this month. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment or I prefer you visit the site and comment there as I'll get back to you probably relatively quicker. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. All the hardware is linked in the description as well. I 
have the, the article itself linked in the description as well. Thanks for tuning in and see you next month.